have a nice day. Hey, beautiful. It's Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Welcome to Have a Nice Gay, the podcast equivalent to that roommate who always pays his rent on time, but is spending most of his time at his boyfriend's house. Oh, that's the best. I'm Chris from the podcast We Read Movies, and I'm here with my friend Mike from Gayish. How's it going? I'm great, Chris. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, let's let's keep the awesome rolling. I wanted to do a quick episode of LGTBQ. Let's get the best quotes. I'm so glad you said it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a test at the end of the show later. Um, I wanted to give you a quote by Anthony Van Brown. And uh, per usual, I want to sort of explain who he is and why we should care and why why his quotes uh, matter at all. Um, but he is a former Australian evangelist in the Assemblies of God, which they've changed their name now that they're Australian Christian churches. But um, he is sort of the poster child, I'd say, for somebody who rose up in leadership of the church and then had to sort of reconcile that with his queerness. So uh, he was born in 1951, raised in a family with a strong Anglican background, um, Anglo-Catholic background. He went to school in New Zealand uh, and attended Faith Bible College and uh, ultimately became clergy. Um, his early ministry, he pioneered several Assemblies of God churches in uh, New South Wales, and he was in Sydney, Australia with his family in the early 80s basically began to have this personal dialogue with himself about his queerness. And that was definitely not something that was going to work with his church. Um, and ultimately resigned as a minister in 1991 after coming out. And he, he wrote a book called a life of unlearning coming out of the church. One man's struggle uh, that won the Sydney gay and lesbian business association literary award in 2004. And now he's uh, an ambassador between the church and the LGBT community and is trying to do away with conversion therapy and and try to mend the rather wide chasm that there is between queer people and religion sometimes. Um, all of that for just uh, here's the quote. He's talking about uh, what it's like to be a queer person and finally fall in love. Um, so, quote, if you were in the closet and fall in love with someone of the same gender, it doesn't automatically remove the shame and fear that's kept you locked away. The love you are experiencing encourages you to face the reality that this is who you really are and also has the power to set you free. The richness, beauty and depths of love can only be fully experienced in a climate of complete openness, honesty and vulnerability. Love, the most powerful of human emotions, is calling you to freedom and wholeness. Anthony Van Brown. Yeah, that's it. He's a dude and wrote a book about about that that I actually am <laughs> super interested in, in reading just because I, I think I have some religion in my background and I'm, I'm interested in hearing how this has worked out for him. I personally am deeply unreligious, but I always really like seeing when somebody is... Uh, able to kind of couple their faith with their sexuality and or with other people's sexuality even better yeah um and it it just becomes like a non-issue uh yeah yeah absolutely uh well that's it for lgb ah, nah, <laughs> you got me well that's it for lgtbq on have a nice gay join us tomorrow for wednesday game day we are Have a Nice Gay Pod on all social media, and our website is haveanicegay.com. If you have any queer quotes that you think we should share, email them to us at haveanicegaypod at gmail.com. Until tomorrow, have a nice gay, Mike. Have a nice gay, Chris. Have a nice gay.